So today we continue to swim in the ocean of bliss, which was, we were thrown by Srila Prabhupada in this ocean. We don't know how to swim. Of course, we don't know. But, you know, we have to try. As it is Bhagavatam explains, how far we can describe glory of Supreme Personality of Godhead. We cannot. We can simply try, as example given, how far the bird can fly in the sky. Sky is unlimited. So similarly, when we are simply trying to glorify the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then Sivon Mokehi Jihwa Adav, Sivon Swayam Avas Purat Ataha, so Krishna manifesting like that. And <clears throat> this is the process, because by hearing Srinvatam Swakata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtanam Hridantastu Hebadrani Vidhunati Sohrit Saram. So we actually purifying. This is a process of purification. And we are in such a you know, wonderful uh, place, in holy place, with holy people, chanting holy name in the holy day. So this is the perfection of life. No? <laughs> Chant holy name with holy people in, in a holy place in a holy day. Because every day is holy day for devotees. You see, today morning I was just thinking about that. What a nice, huh? every morning we wake up and we just, no tension, no pension, no tension. I just, every morning is like chuti, it's like hobby, because we are doing what we like to do. Means we are serving Krishna whether a grihastha or brahmachari, when somebody simply dedicating his life for Krishna, you see, then he is happy because he, whatever difficulties or happiness is there, he dedicating it to Krishna because he is doing this out of love, whatever he does. So that's why it's like holiday. People in this material world, they're waiting for the holidays all year, working very hard, so for a few weeks they can go to some sea and take bath. <laughs> Isn't it? They're going for picnic some, and they're spending tons of money to go there and then coming back exhausted and they, tomorrow again to the office and again they're just frustrated. But for devotees every day, and Prabhupada said, no salary and no chuti. 365, you know, even extra, they're staying and doing some service. And true. If you can consider, just consider. Even president of the biggest countries, like Russia or America, they have embassies, only one embassy, you know, in the country or somewhere. Just only a few embassies they have. And also, people, as soon as they're not presidents, nobody going to serve them. Who cares for them? That's why they are holding their chairs like anything. They don't want to leave the chair, because, you know, once they are out, next what can happen? They will be in jail, maybe, because next president will put them in jail. True, because they become normal citizens. But Krishna is God, is always God, Prabhupada said. When he is three years old, three months old, when he kills Putana, when he kills Trinavarta, you know, Agasura, when he, in Kurukshetra, he is God. When he is three months, he is God. God is God. It is no vacancy. There is already a busy place. It's already, there is no space there. It's already fixed permanently. But here people trying to fight to become God and to try to enjoy. Therefore it is said, the servant of the king, he enjoying the same facilities of, as a king. You know? Same. Once Srila Prabhupada had Vyasa Puja, Vyasa Puja. And they had big cake cutting, you know, big cake. And uh, somebody cut the cake and said, Jai Srila Prabhupada. And Prabhupada gave cake. And all devotees, they came and started to eat cake. And uh, one devotee said, Prabhupada, see, we are enjoying like Krishna. Krishna enjoying cake, we are also enjoying like cake, like Krishna. Prabhupada said, what like Krishna? We are enjoying more than Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because Krishna took only this much, we are taking everything. <laughs> we are enjoying more than Krishna. Ananda Ambudi Vardhanam. Ananda Ambudi. Ambudi means ocean. It's true. Simply you have to, you know, <laughs> you have to follow the rules, how to enjoy. If you're not following, you're out of the game. 
I remember we were in childhood when we used to play the football. I'm sure all of you that played football, no? But we were in our many, many houses, so only one boy, Max, he had one b ball, football, you know, ball, professional one. And we didn't have balls. So whenever we wanted to play football, we used to call the Max, hey, Max, come play with us. Means bring ball. <laughs> That's what <yeah. laughs> And he was, I used to come out with the ball. Very proud, because he knew nobody has ball, only he has ball. He's a boss. All right, and we make a team, and every time we used, we used to make the point that team in which Max is there should win all the time. If he gets angry, he won't get angry. So whenever Max is playing in that team, that team has to win. Even we are winning, and that team is losing, last five minutes we can jump you know? Okay, two, three balls just miss. So let them take credit. <laughs> so when he's happy, so next day he'll bring again ball. So similarly, when we're playing with Krishna, make sure that Krishna is always happy. Some Siddhi Hari Toshana. And if Tasmin Tushti Jagat Tushtam, if actually Krishna happy, everybody happy. When you're putting the water to the root of the tree, all tree naturally will become satisfied and nourished. Similarly, when you're putting the food to the stomach, then all body become healthy. Not like you're putting macaroni in the nose and then putting some water in the ears and the nose. No, this is a process. So that is the process, how to become happy. And this panchanga bhakti, sadhu sangha, holy name, nama kirtan, bhagavat shravan, mathuravas, holy place, Sri murtira shradhaya sevan. Everything we have is organized in such a way so we can be always playing with Krishna happily. In one of the angas, panchangas, this is Bhagavad Shravan. Because when we are hearing Shravanadi Shuddha Chitta Koriya Udai, Krishna consciousness propagates dormant in Krishna in our heart. It's not just Nit Krishna Bhakti Nitya Siddha Sadhu Kabunai Shravanadi Shuddha Chitta Koriya Udai. It's not something like we have to just bring from Russia, from America, export. No, it's already there. It's like wood. See this wood. Fire already there inside. It's accumulated from the sun. It's already there. But sometimes wood becomes wet. Gila hmm? hogena. So you putting fire, putting fire, nothing comes. Only smoke coming. <laughs> Some utpata yaiva kalpate. Disturbance for society only. But sometimes when wood completely dried, completely sugya, bekkar sansar. We dried for this material world. Vairagya vidyanija bhakti yoga shikshartam ekah purushak purana Shri Krishna chaitanya shariram dhari kripam buddhisyastam ham prapadhi So we are worshipping Krishna chaitanya because he gave us a knowledge. Jnana dipena bhashvataha yam swanu bhava makilam shruti saram ekam adhyatma dipam atititir satam tamundham tamo andham Blind darkness, blind darkness. Samsarinam karunayaha purana guhyam tam vyasa sunu payami guru muninam. So we are offering obeisances to Shukadeva Goswami. Why? Because he is putting this torchlight of knowledge. Otherwise, what hell we are doing here? Every day we are trying to clean our, our mind and see where we are moving. Like that. This is very wonderful. Most of the people, they have no idea. Where they are going, what is the aim of life? From big, big, big entrepreneurs, from big, big, big presidents of countries. True, very true. They have no idea what is the purpose of life. They are trying to establish so many isms, Prabhupada said. Socialism, capitalism, altruism, you know, philanthropism. This is all this dikhava, upadhi. But, as, but at the end, if people they frustrated as they are now in the world, Hanunam Pramatta Kruti Vikarma, yet Indriya Prithaya Aprinoti, they are trying to satisfy the senses, but nobody happy, really. Andhayan Thandarupani Amanas Tipisha Tantrim 
urudam nibandha zai one blind leading another blind and both of them they falling in the ditch that's what we are very very fortunate very fortunate that we see Prabhupada gave us everything and as a sun see he creating the light for us similarly shrimad bhagavatam mahapuranam amalam this is like sun arisen in the horizon of kali yuga to give the light to the people fallen in this kali yuga that in the beginning of bhagavatam it is explained so that's why we are reading today continue to enlighten ourselves and purify and hear about krishna and then again chanting and again dancing and again mahaprasadam eating what to do and again dancing and again speaking about krishna what a life huh just think about that <laughs> i was just chanting and thinking why should we stop or just continue chanting for a few hours then class for three hours and then again taking a little prasad i'm again dancing and again outside sharing krishna with others coming back again some prasad and then again chanting and singing dancing and chanting only kings used to live like this before you know raja keval log kings they were dancing in some parties you know parties and they were eating profusely like romans you know they eating and dancing and parties that's what we have since 4:30 morning party dancing and then relaxing and lightening very very fortunate and when we were chanting you know why we have to stop oh i have to go i have to go to work for what khane ke liye <laughs> really you can ask people i ask one guy in new york where are you working i am working in company company producing tires you know tires for the cars tires i said why <laughs> for the car i said why do you need car to go to the office and why do you need to hold, go to the office to produce the tires <laughs> <laughs> and why do we need the tires for the car and why do we need the car to go to the office <laughs> this is crazy vicious circle you know why do we need the, why do we need the cars in first place actually of course we need the cars we are not crazy we also using the cars but this is not the goal of life and if you li- can you imagine somebody came in the temple by car and he came by in temple by the car and start to move around the temple one hour two hour three hour four hours zzz, zzz. hey baba roko you stop the car get out from the car and do main business you came here to see the lord and associate no 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 she i need the car and then, and become niyamagraha so many people stuck in doing what they are doing just because busy being busy busy for what making money money for what money for what money working to eat or eating to work working to eat or eating to work so one day i was thinking like that well why am i working like gadha from morning to evening and then prabhupad said i'll start with prabhupad actually today morning every day i am listening prabhupad lectures and i'm sending to our devotees also we have leaders i think i'll start our class with this only and what prabhupad said you know prabhupad says very very nice Prabhupada explains that how we can actually the only way to save everyone huh what what the way oh, tell me i i didn't prepare i am speaking spontaneously i hope you will forgive me it's okay flowing along with the current but but it's you see what prabhupada says very nice prabhupada says it is caught by the day from the hand clearly what it is warning oh my time is coming let me go ah uh, uh, there is one story in this connection one story uh, last story is a fact a hunter spread his net so some little birds they fell down in the net and they are crying Uh, they are crying. So the father and mother. So hunters spread the net, and some birds stuck. Children stuck there. So father and mother crying. They came. They 
song that the children are in danger. It is caught by the net of the hunter. So mother immediately jumped over it to save the children, and she was also captured. Then the father saw, now if I go to save them, I will be captured. Let me go out. Let me take from that. Yes, so mother also saw, oh, she also jumped to help, and she also stuck. Then the father was thinking, oh, bacha Srimati Fasgya, na? If I'll jump, I also will stuck, forget it. And he just left. He took sannyas, Prabhupada said. <laughs> that is intelligence. You cannot give protection to your family, to your society, to your... No, you cannot give. They must die. Said, we are trying to save society, serve families, so every day. No, it's not possible. They're going to die anyway. Nothing you can do to them. First dress, then address. They must be captured by the network of Maya. You cannot save them. If you want to save them, then make them Krishna Bhagavan. That is the only thing. You have to make them Krishna consciousness. This is the only. Otherwise, nati viduk svarthagatim hi Vishnu. And but before making them Krishna conscious, we have to become ourselves Krishna conscious. And for that, we have to read Shrimad Bhagavatam. Karantaraj Shrimad Bhagavatam Mahapurana ki jaya. Okay, so we um, reading the text. From Canto 3, Chapter 20, Text 32. Ahorupam ahodharyam Aho asya navam vayaha Madhye kamaya mananam Akameva visarpati The demons praised her. Oh, what a beauty, what rare self-control, what a budding use in the midst of us all who are passionately longing for her. She is moving about like one absolutely free from passion. Text number 33. I just go through. Vitarkayanto bahudha tamsandhyam Pramada Kritim Abhisam Bhavya Vishrambhat Pariyaprichan Kumidhasa Indulging in various speculations about the evening twin light, which appeared to them endowed with the form of a young woman, the wicked-minded Asuras treated her with respect and fondly spoke to her as follows. Text number 34. Kasi kasya shiramboru kovarthas tetra brahmini rupa dravina painena durbhagan no vibhadhase. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shila Prabhupada ki jaya. Who are you, O pretty girl? Whose wife or daughter are you? And what can be the object? of our appearing before us. Why do you tantalize us, unfortunate as we are, with the priceless commodity of your beauty? Purport. The mentality of the demons is being enamored by the false beauty of this material world is expressed herein. The demoniac can pay any price for the skin beauty of this material world. They work very hard all day and night, but the purpose of their hard work is enjoy sex life. Sometimes they misrepresent themselves as karma yogis, not knowing the meaning of the word yoga. Yoga means to link up with the Supreme Personality of Godhead or to act in Krishna consciousness. A person who works very hard, no matter in what occupation and 
who offers the result of the work to the service of the Supreme Personality of God at Krishna is called Karma Yogi. Umagyanati Nirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Ritam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaivana Rattamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jayomutirayat Nashta Prayeshu Badreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavatu Tamashloki Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Ajanu Lambita Bujaukana Kavadatao Sankirtanei Kapitarau Kamalaya Takshau Vishwam Barod Vijavaro Yuga Dharma Palau Vande Jagat Priya Karo Karuna Vataro Mukham Karuti Vachalam Palgum Langayate Grim Tat Kripatamaham Vande Shri Gurun Dinatarini Vancha Kalpatarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyaye Vacha Patitanam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare So this is very very important point here. This material world actually called Maitunya Agara. Everybody stuck here because of this attachment to material world, attachment to woman, woman, money, and sense enjoyment, basically. Woman doesn't mean that woman itself is very bad, no. But the sense of enjoyment, right? Somebody saying, oh, woman is Mataji only, lady. No, 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 no. It's three. It's three. This is the somebody who actually want to enjoy in this material world. Mm. Purusha bhava, purusha bhava, tendency of enjoying, can be in women also. You see, purusha bhava, ishwaraha maham bhogi baravan balavan sukhi. So this is the mentality to enjoy in this material world. But we are here for a few afternoons around. Just for a few days we are here. We are transit passengers here. Why did we come here? We actually... Before our existence, nothing was here. And when we will leave, believe me, after a few hundred years, after a few, few years, nobody will remember you. Believe me. Only few, those who remembered you, maybe some family members, they will remember us for a few extra years. That's all. And they will put some plastic photo with plastic mala. It will be, it will be not clean for a few, three years. It will be just hanging around. Purana, and some old man sitting there, that's all. Just to show. Sometimes they put it in the shop, you have seen? Dukan Miraklete, just, that's all. Confirmed. We're trying to serve all this world, and this world will not even tell you, thank you. Nothing. It's, it's, uh, very, very painful reality. It's, it's true. Because in this world, everybody are carried by the waves of time. Like straw, pieces of straw, you know, coming and going, coming and going, by the waves of time. We came together, and the only business why we are coming together, any one of us, to encourage each other to go fast back to Krishna, in Krishna consciousness. Otherwise, there is no point of polishing, oh, uh, you scratching my back, I'll scratch your back. You give me chocolate, I'll give you chocolate. This is okay. That's, that is there. We have to respect and love everyone. But if at the end there is no Krishna consciousness, simply wasting time. And uh, therefore, Bhagavatam explains what is the purpose of life? Why we have to work? Not just for the tires to produce the car, for the cars. No. There is purpose in life. Why? Some Siddhi Haritoshanam, to please Krishna. But in material world, everybody wants to enjoy themselves. Pramatta Kuruti Vikarma, yet Indriya Prithaya Prinoti. This is very nice description in um, Eight Kanto Bhagavatam, where demons and asuras, they were churning the ocean. You know that story, right? 
we'll know into the details, but when the demons and Asuras, they were churning the ocean. There is a very nice shloka, Shukadev Goswami explains. He says that time, place, purpose, right? Everything was the same for the demons and for the Asuras. But everybody same, same environment, same purpose, same work, same desire. But result was achieved different. Demons, Asuras, they didn't get anything. And devotees, demigods, they were able to enjoy the results of drinking Amrit. Why? And Prabhupada explains in commentary, and Shukadev Goswami explains, because though everybody were in the same place, same purpose, everybody doing the same work, devotees, demigods, they were doing this for the pleasure of Krishna and demons for their own sense enjoyment. Though they were looking same, don't think that demons, they just like, like this, like, no, 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 they're very gentle people, looking like she, Duryodhana, super, people like him, 11 Akshawahinis of kings, man, 11 Akshawahinis took his side, majority of this world were on demoniac side, Panda was the way in minority, isn't it? So devotees, they're always in minority in this world. It's not like, I remember one devotee, he was distributing books in New York. A real story. And he was book distributor, you know. And in, in, in New York, very difficult to stop people. People so busy, 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 running, running. I was doing book distribution in New York. So you're coming, excuse me, no excuse. You. Excuse, no excuse. You. Um, and then, um, uh, hi, 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 very high, very high, very high, very high. Very difficult to stop people. People so scared, so fried, you know, they don't want anything. Because each and every corner, somebody selling something, somebody, you know. Crazy civilization. So one day he was selling the books, and one big car came. Huge one, black car. Like Rolls Royce. Stop. And one, one guy in black suit, you know, very nice tie, polish, oil, you know, very nice man, looking very super. He came, excuse me, I have books for you. I already have these books. I already have these books. Said, oh, really? So you take for your friend also. I said, that's all right. I, already, I know everything about this. And I thought, and he was very polite, kind of polite. You know what, but you can take for your friends. No, 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 I already have. And you know what, you people, you are Hare Krishna, right? I said, yes. You know, if I would, it will be my power. You know what I will do for you, Hare Krishnas? I said, what? And so he was thinking, wow, so favorable man, you know, he already has books, you know, very rich. Maybe he'll give some Dakshina. And he says, you know, if I would only can do this, I'll for each and every, for each and every, member of your society, I'll buy one house. But wow! And I'll buy one car. And I'll buy big land. So this devotee was thinking, wow! What a man! <laughs> I'll buy one land for you. And car for each and everybody, I'll make one house. And I'll put you in one some place. And put boundary around you. And put electricity 3000 volt. And sit down and sign, don't come out. Don't disturb our enjoyment. <laughs> I have put all of you together, surround you by boundaries with 3,000 volt. Sit down and sign, don't come out. Don't disturb us. That's what demons, they feeling that they are disturbed. When you try to tell them about God, about it, no. <laughs> This guy will not allow me to enjoy some rules and this and that. Forget. That's why it's easy to forget God. No God. No God. I can enjoy without God. This is a tendency. And Prabhupada said, and these people, they going on as a karma yogis. Karma is they working for themselves. You know, moksha, punya, to enjoy more in swarga. And Prabhupada said, 
very powerful, he said, commentary, that such a people can be even in spiritual movement, like Krishna consciousness movement. And you can understand them by result. Because demons, they only can get as much as their karma allows them. Because they coming to exploit the resources of material world. They're exploiting for their own enjoyment. But devotees, they working for the pleasure of Krishna, Ahaituki, selflessly. Therefore, they will enjoy more than these karmis. Those karmis, they can also wear tilak and dhoti, Prabhupada said. Don't think that just putting dhoti and tilak or sari, we immediately becoming devotees. Mm -hmm. Just beginning. It's right step, right step in the correct direction, but so many things to work on. And therefore, it is very recommended we have to purify our heart, our motivation. Why we are doing what we are doing. And usually when in spiritual life, we are also coming. So we are fighting with four basic uh, obstacles. Anyone knows the main obstacles? So we are fighting actually inside this battle, Kurukshetra. And uh, first one is Tucha Asakti. Bhakti Nantakura also explains it. Tucha Asakti. Insignificant things. We become worry, worry, worry.com. You know? And then winewomanwealth.com. And then weep, weep, weep.com. Right? People, they're crying. Crying all the time. And the second one is um, kutinati. Kutinati means duplicity. Not to be who are you, actually. To pretend something that you are not. All right? We will not go to discuss deeply these things because it's very, very important. Uh, it's long. Tucha sakti, kutinati. Then matsarya. Matsarya, this is envy of others. Oh, see. Even in spiritual life. Why is preaching better than me? I'll show him. I'll put some sugar in his car, so he'll, he'll not be able to start the car tomorrow. Or, you know, it's, of course, we are not expressing, but inside some people may think, mm, he makes such a big, big temple, I'll make three times bigger. Just to show him. You see, I'm better. Yeah, I'm not just, I may be exaggerating, of course, but, but Jiva Goswami explains there are three different motivations, devotion, and Kapila Dev also, in third canto Bhagavatam only explains that devotional service also can be in three modes of material nature. In Tamoguna, Rajaguna, and Sattvaguna. You know? Everything depends on the motivation. In Tamoguna, people, they doing devotional service to harm others because of envy, because of harshness, because, because of they want to give some pain to others. Also like that. You know that Jarasandha was Vishnu Bhakta. Anyone knows? Jarasandha, he was actually Vishnu Bhakta, but he was fighting with Krishna. But he was Vaishnav, Jarasandha. And in fact, when I was reading yesterday about the Rukmini's marriage, when Krishna had to kidnap, kidnap Rukmini. Rukma, brother, you know, when they lost the battle, Rukmi. So Jarasandha was preaching to him Bhagavad Gita, whatever, not Bhagavad Gita, Everything in the destiny of God, don't worry. God, it's, uh, you know, fortune. Everything depends on God. They're speaking about God. You see Hiranyakashipu, when Hiranyaksha killed, Hiranyaksha killed, he was giving such a, such a nice Bhagavad Gita class, super, to his mother and relatives. It's like, sounds like Bhagavad Gita. The only problem, not Bhagavan Uvacha, but Hiranyakashipu Uvacha. Rest is the same. We are all eternal souls, guys. You don't, don't worry. Everything is temporary. I have so jayaga. Don't worry. Don't be. Same Bhagavatam class. But only Hiranyakashipu Vacha. But his motivation was to kill Krishna, Vishnu. Because he himself wanted to become Vishnu. We can see, like in Russia, before people used to worship God, but then communists came, they removed God, and they make their own parampara. Karl Marx, Friedrich Engels, Lenin, Stalin. They, own, they have their own parampara, Mao Zedong. And they put it Murti of Lenin everywhere. 
in Russia, I remember. Every, I was communist. It was compulsory. Compulsory for everyone. You have to be member of party. True. And everybody had to do puja to Lenin. And they had, they put even in red square, they put his samadhi also. And myself, I was staying for seven hours to get darshan. Every day it was huge line since morning, three o'clock morning you have to catch the line. That fanaticism was there. I have to admit, that's, that was the culture. People brainwashed. When Prabhupada said, oh, you brainwashing people, Prabhupada said, of course I am brainwashing because there's nonsense inside, you know. We have to brainwash them. Actions the same, aim different. You see, they worshipping Murti, we are worshipping Murti. They doing some, we are doing Radha Yatra for Jagannath Ji. They doing also parade, you know. First May, Workers' Day, you know. I did so many times, I went for these parades. And they carrying some flags and carrying some chariots also. Crowd, you check, Mother Google, you check it out. First May, Workers' demon, Demonstration. <laughs> like that. Anyway, so um, we can see this. This is very, 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 very imp important. And then Swapratishta. Swapratishta. We're doing things to be recognized. Oh, such a nice class, class he gives. Wow, super. And yeah, I'll give class, so I'll impress people. They'll give me Mahaprasad. Or maybe they'll give me a nice room to stay. Because they'll be impressed by me. Oh, he's senior devotee. You see, people may think like that. But actually, every day I was thinking, what should be our motivation? Today morning only. I'm just sharing my experience. What, what actually we, my experience, what, what we have to think about. Every morning I'm thinking, how this piece of body, you know, should be useful for Krishna. And what Krishna needs, he doesn't need anything, nothing he needs. He has everything. Everything, in fact, belongs to him already. Hmm? Bhaktaram Jagyata Sarva Loka Maheshwaram. He's, he's Maha Ishwar. Everything already belongs to him. What can we give to him? But what we can do, Krishna needs our love. And uh, to please Krishna, very difficult, Prabhupada said. But to please his devotee is much easy. And by our activities, we have to simply to encourage, inspire, and to make others happy. Somehow or other, to encourage people. And to become the source of inspiration. For outside people, for inside people, for yourself, for, you know. And uh, we have to be inspired before we expired. We have to be inspired somehow. And when you are happy, you can make also other, encourage other people to become a little bit more close to Krishna. That's maximum we can do in one day in installment. What can we do? Eating, sleeping, that we can do anytime. But if we be able to touch the heart of few people today, few people, one person, to encourage them and to become more happy and enthusiastic in Krishna consciousness. Then our life more or less not useless. At least we did something today. But, uh, well, so we're doing like that. We are trying to do that. Not because we say, oh, see how great I am. This. No, because all qualities Krishna's. Yet, yet we bhutimat tattvam srimat urjita mevava. Without Krishna's energy, nothing possible. So our mentality should be not for sense enjoyment, but for Krishna's enjoyment. And devotees are his extension of his senses. You know that? Demigods, demigods in 10th canto Bhagavatam, they praying to Lord Krishna. Brahmaji actually is praying. That we actually trying to serve you through Brinjabasis. And we are enjoying also through the senses of Brinjabasis. Because they are your extensions. We are simply cannot come to Vrindavan. Demigods, they have no visa to come to Vrindavan. Lord Brahma came for only for a short time and he had to be kicked out. Go back to your office, to Brahma Loka. Demons, demigods, they have no right to come to Vrindavan. So like that. The devo therefore, to be with devotees, this is such a great priv privilege. Great privilege. And uh, what I wanted to share with you, just one small thing. So this is obstacles, you know. Tucha Sakti, Kutinati, Swapratishtha, Matsarya, and also many others, you know, Tattva Vibrahma, you know, Jada. Hmm. 
laziness, you know, Brahma, Tattva vi Brahma. So many we illusion about the real truth, Guru Tattva, Vishnu Tattva, Jiva Tattva, etc. So therefore, we go into the scientific process, how to purify ourselves from mentality of taking. Childish mentality of taking, like karmis, they want to take one, put from the hero from the Himal, from immaturity and childishness of taking to the maturity and happiness of giving. That's the growth of consciousness. From taking to the adult and mature state of consciousness, purna vikashita chetana, of giving. And when you're giving everything, you'll get everything from Krishna, completely. And Krishna will protect us. Krishna will make us so happy from inside without having anything. We're just simply serving Krishna completely. And I'll tell you one small real story from... Well, of course, we have many stories. But one story, what actually strikes me, how Krishna always present in our life, all the time. And you can see him. If you're practicing Ahaituki Bhakti, one of the qualities, you can start to see Krishna everywhere. You can see him in, in different people, you know. I was giving an example of my friend. Well, of course, when <clears throat> in the beginning, in the beginning, uh, in the beginning, we didn't have temples, we didn't have any gurus coming to us. We just got few books. Some books were printed by hands, you know, chik, 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 had to type secretly, whatever, those days. But... We heard that Krishna always guiding his Paramatma, no? And I remember, shall I tell you a small story? I can tell you two stories or three stories, provided if you are awake. So, uh, just very quick, very nice story. You can see Krishna is always with us. Once I was just joined our center. It was not even temple, it was like not ashram, it was flat house. And we used to bring some books and go and distribute the books in the streets. And I was new Bhakta. Just, I didn't, we didn't have a dhoti even, you know. We didn't have dhoti. And we, I just put some bed sheet, white bed sheet. And I had army sleeping kurta. Like this. It's also small size like this. And I had sika, like this. Just shaved. Like antenna. Co -co 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 like this. I was very enthusiastic. So devotees used to go for book distribution and I was on duty. Like, you know, I had to clean everything and I was only alone in the flat. So anyone who will come, so I had to attend them. And one day phone came. Phone came. Who? I was very serious, you know. I'm devotee of Krishna. Hello? <laughs> it was regional secretary, Achyuta Priya Prabhu. He came from capital, from Kiev. And he said, you know what? Who is that? I'm such and such, VIP, very insignificant person, so, so he said, okay, you have to, for your notice, uh, His Holiness Niranjan Swami Maharaj coming, Guru coming, and at that time, Gurus used to come very rare, you know, so it was like big, big Janmashtami, Guru coming, wow, so you have to find big hall, and you have to make advertisement, so to create awareness, so people can know. And that time we didn't have printing flags and something, you know, nothing. You have to go to the brush, you know, the painters, like you have the cinemas before, old cinemas, they have to make it with brush, you know, big, big pictures. You have seen? Remember, no? Same thing in Russia. We had this all the, some painters, you know, and they used to do some writings like that. So you have to make advertisement. I was thinking, and thinking, okay, and after a few days, guru coming, you have to get ready everything. Find big hall and advertisement. Okay, ding, and he put the phone. I said, what to do? Where to find the painter? I didn't know anything. So then I had one friend. His name was Dima. And uh, he, he used to come for Sunday programs, feast, prasadam. And he was kind of artist. So I just called him. Brr, brr. Hey, Dima, Suno, we need some advertisement. He said, no, don't disturb me. I have some final exam. I'm, he was in... Uh, School, working as an artist. So I'm giving my exam, so I'm doing some art. I'm very busy, I don't have time. Sorry, ping, stopped. So I was thinking, bus, I don't have any other option. Where to find the artist? 
So, you know, I had to deal with Krishna. Krishna, you know, I read in Bhagavad Gita that you are in the heart of Hridhishar Juntishtati. You are Paramatma. You know everything. So I was speculating. Now I'll go in the street and I'll be asking people where the artist and whatever they will say because they're tape recorders. You are inside, you have to guide them. So you have to guide me. I was that time crazy, you know. I just said, okay, let's go. And I went in the street and believe me or not, I just said, some old people, some old lady, excuse me, mom, mom, you know, I need artists. Where I can find the artist? You know, can you imagine people in the street walking, oh, artist, what? What artist? I don't know. So this lady, okay, go straight and go left. And whatever they were saying, that was the deal. I would only go there, whatever they will say, I'll go there. Totally depend whatever people say. And hopefully Paramatma will tell them. So and I'm going, some boys playing something. I say, hey guys, I need one artist. Uncle, I don't know, you go straight and that gali gali, you go straight, right, left. So they were telling me. And I was just walking like that. Then some. So after a few hours, I came to big, big art academy. Big building, art academy. So I went inside and said, excuse me, I need one artist. And one old lady, you know, oh, son, everybody artist here. No, no, you have to tell me where I have to go. Okay, you go upstairs. So I went to first floor. And there were many, many students. Hundreds of students. Like it was like break between the classes. They were running like this. So I caught one guy. Hey, excuse me, guy. I need one artist. Come on, guy. You know, everybody artist. What do you want? No, no, you have to tell me where I can find the artist. And he just like that, randomly, spontaneously, he showed me one classroom. Go in this room. And I'm just, I'm just following, like, rather, you know, I'm just going. And I, I went to this classroom, opening, and nobody is there. I said, now what? <laughs> Dead end. Now what? And I again looked, and I saw this one easel, you know, they like they have camera standing. There's one also stand for the, it's called easel, podium this, for the art, for this, you know, paint, for the art, like that. And uh, I see two legs there behind. It's big, big desk, but you can see anyone, but you can see two legs. So I can see at least one guy is there. I was knocking, no answers, nothing. Then again, I was, just, Make sure that he, for a few times, nobody came out from that easel. But then again, dr, 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 then the face came out. And that was my friend, Dima. <laughs> I said, wow, what are you doing here? He was surprised. I was surprised. So far out. And I told him the story. You see, I called you a few hours before. You didn't want. Now God came. He lead me. You can, millions of people, city, you know, I could have been come anywhere else. I could be bumped on anyone else, but I bumped in that room, and in that room he was sitting there. He said, I didn't tell anyone, I'm hiding here. Even my parents, I don't know, because everybody disturbing me. So I'm hiding, hiding here, doing some of my work. How did you find me? And I tell him, this is Paramatma, I see, you an antenna, I have an antenna, <laughs> internet. So, And I said, now you have to do advertisement, you have to do it. And he said, okay, I have to do it now, I have to do it. Now I caught red-handed, you know, I have to do it. All right, and he did it. And then Niranjan Maharaj also came after a few days. Then he said, well, since I did, I have to go and listen to this man. So, okay, he went and he became inspired. He became devotee. He became initiated disciple of Niranjan Maharaj. And he became one of the best artists in BBT in Russia. So, and, and he's making Shiman Bhagavatam, and he's making painting for Shiman Bhagavatam. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> True. So many like this. Or, for example, of course, we are not imitating, we just simply, in book distribution, so many times, you know, like Krishna speaking to you. And you can understand, this is Krishna. When you're attached, you know, you want to be glorified. Sometimes, I used to be Sankirtan leader, and we used to distribute hundreds of books. Because we used to go to the factory company, you know, sign some deal and then going for the, pe for the boss and then he signed the agreement that people can pay in installment in six months. You know, we're giving full set and then from the salary we will cut, 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 cut. 
six months from salary and they all sent you know, to BBT. And we have to fill up the form, people signing there, so they have their numbers and it will be cut off, very organized. And company sending all money in one time and then people returning money to the company in six months. Wow, so we used to shoot hundreds of sets of Bhagavatam. Anyway, that's another story. And uh, one day, when you're bringing the result, after your darshanarati announcements, for the pleasure there, you know, Lord Shiv Shishi Gornitai, we would like to announce, to, yesterday was distributed so many books by such and such devotees, such and such, and Haribo! And everybody, you know, like that. And one day I brought, I brought this, my result and give to Pujari. And next morning, go with them and... And he forgot to announce. <laughs> <laughs> so frustrating. Oh no, why? <laughs> I didn't want to please the Krishna. I wanted to be glorified, you know. Like that. One time I remember also, I was in Nepal. There were one Pujari was dressing the deities, you know. And also after Darshan Arati, you know, he comes and says, Patri Prabhu, how do you like the dressing outfit today? I said, super. And he said, guess. Who was, dre who was dressing? Guess. And of course, he is very clearly hinting that, oh, of course. I said, and I said, wow, super, it's you. Wow, so I was glorifying him, and he was feeling like so nice. But actually, he was he was dressing not Krishna. He was dressing his false ego. He was dressing very nicely because he expecting to be glorified, puja pratishta, you know, like that. That is there, like Madhavendra Puri. Once you serving Krishna, automatically Suraj ke samne tara bhi chamak rahega, na? Near to the sun, stars also are reflecting. That's okay, but it's not what we want. It automatically will be there already. But if it's our desire, then it's pollution. That's already bad. You got the point? So it's like that. And, uh, and uh, But when we are serving selflessly, even in the most greatest danger, Krishna can save us. That's true. Krishna can manifest in different ways. I can tell you hundreds of stories of book distribution, especially when you're preaching out there. When you're throwing yourself in the area unknown, and believing in something sublime, then life becomes fun. Go somewhere where nobody did anything, you don't know what's going to happen, it's danger, it's... Wow! You have to depend on Krishna. There is nothing other way. So you have to throw yourself in that situation. Nobody going to do it. Because if you'll stay in comfortable zone, so you'll not get any experience. But from where that faith comes, when you're throwing yourself in the difficult situation, when, and it's already final limit that you can, no, I cannot do it myself, I cannot, it's uh, impossible. Sorry, Krishna. And then Krishna manifests. But you are still not giving up. You are pushing and not giving up. It's clearly not possible for you to do, and you understand, not hopeless case, I cannot do it. Then Krishna manifests. Like, you know, just muscles, when you, you have to put extra weight. Oh! And when you cannot lift already, that's the point when muscles growing. When you're practicing uh, five, five kilo, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> what's a big deal? <laughs> you have to put a little bit for spiritual muscles. You have to do extra mile. You know, you have to. Uh, it's a little painful, a little bit, right? But that's what we need to go. We have to get out. Like uh, yesterday, I was listening in Sanskrit on Panchatantra stories about this is frogs who fall down in the bucket of milk and they drunk milk and then time to come out and they cannot come out because it's still a bucket now hey. they just cannot come out because there is nothing to push milk and then after long time struggling one frog said hey what does he use what does he use anyway we're going to die everything bad pessimistic let me drink milk and die peacefully. And to the city, and drinking milk died. But another frog was, and outside, many, many frogs came and said, no, no, you can never make it. Nobody could do it before. You can never also do it. Forget it. Impossible. Impossible. You cannot do it. You know, 
They were telling him all these bad words. No, 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 sorry. Poor guy, what to do, sorry. But this frog was trying best, trying best, trying best. And by doing that, he turned the milk and it became butter. And butter became solid and, <laughs> and jumped. And then everybody, wow, how did you do that? They asked him, how did you do that? We all discouraging you and you know what? Actually from childhood, I'm deaf, 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 you know, I could not hear. I thought you were encouraging me, you know. <laughs> That's why I was thinking, oh, thank you, my brother's encouraging me, you know. So he just didn't listen to all the negativities in this world. Or in another case, that's when the guy who had old, old uh, bull, and he throw him in the well, he fall down in the well, and the farmer thought, what is the use of this bull? Anyway, let me cover him with the mud and bury him. And he was throwing, 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 throwing. And after some time, this bull came out from the well. <laughs> I was putting on the top of this mud. How come he came out? So, and bull was just, he looked, and what the bull was doing, mud was thrown on him, and he was just, and step on that. And step on that. And step on that, you know. Until he pressed the ground. <laughs> Come on. So people throwing the stones, you give them flower back. That's Nityananda Sampradaya, you know. People will criticize, no doubt about that. Difficulties will be there. But if we can continue, people can create violence against us. Okay, I'll give you a last example because time is flying. When we came to Nepal, and I remember when we came, I told you one story, like... Right? Sitaram, rolling experience, roll, rolling cost. Oh, he didn't, they didn't hear. Oh, the, I'll not tell them. Then he'll tell you. <laughs> no, because that's another half an hour. With all the details and lightning and, you know, and set up. Story has to be spoken with all Alankaras. And otherwise, you know, I came and I fell down and got accident. That's all bad. Maja <laughs> right? So that's why I'm telling you, this is... When you're telling, it should be like movie, serial, like episode. Wow. Mahabharat, Mahabharat. So, once. So somebody can put music. <laughs> no, anyway, so we were preaching and we had, when we came, it was Maoist. Have you heard this? It was, well, king was killed. Raja Kumar Diana, who Maoist, communist. Brothers, communist, again, they... They attacked and they captured the government. And Maoists, they were blowing bombs, you know, throwing, killing people like anything. Killing people. Those, one, one Bhagavad Kathavachak, he was speaking Bhagavatam, they killed him, 20 bullets in the head. They killed him. Oh, yes. They just killed him. And then they, anyway, you can see. Mother Google, you can check it out. Heavy. And when they came, it was war. National war was going on. And they used to come and blast sometimes temples, you know, just some putting bombs in the cars. They putting pressure cooker, putting some dynamite, ready-made bomb. So many people died. So one time, and they held on one group of people, one group of people, and it's just near, next to our temple, one karate group, karate you know, club. And then in charge of that karate club, big guy. He happened to be the kind of uh, IYF of Maoists. Youth Forum, you know? Youth Wing, they, they called themselves. So they were like a kind of power force, like Shiva Sena, we have, no? So they were kind of big guys, like, you know, many people, they used to be black belts, you know, they used to go everywhere and just whatever required. And they used to come to temple. So one time they came to temple and we were just new boys. We just put new management there and very young devotee, I had to put president there. And they came, okay guys, we have to control your temple. We have to go inside your temple, we have to check how much money you have, etc. Who are you guys, you know? So, and then they even beat our brahmacharis. They just, they, literally, physically, they beat them. And said, okay, tomorrow, they give us some kind of challenge. Tomorrow you have to do, you have to choose. We're going to blast your temple or put fire or something like that. Some, like that. anyway, some challenge because they could conflict with brahmacharis. So then brahmacharis called me and I was downtown. We had one small center, preaching, youth preaching center. 
I said, what to do? I don't know what to do. And one devotee in Mayapur, his name Madhavendra Puri Prabhu, he is from France, and he gave me a very nice murti of Ugrandri Simha. You know this surgical operation to Helena Kashipu, like this, small one, people. And they said, he was Grihasta, and he said, well, somebody give me gift this murti, and uh, I don't want to worship as a Grihasta, because I have family problems because of this murti. So better you take it. You're traveling, you're brahmachari, you take it. Okay, I took it from Mayapur and I came and I was traveling with this Nrisimha and I came to uh, Nepal. So when these things happen, I give this murti to our devotee in temple, our youth preacher. So you worship this murti, Krishna only Bhagavan. He will help us. He helped Draupadi, he helped Pandavas. I mean, we have to give faith, leap of faith. And they were all, all evening, all night, they were worshipping this missing day, you know, serious. We informed senior devotees, you know, this is challenges. Not joke, you know, war going on. Hundreds of people dying, bombing. These guys came to temple. They came to me personally. And I went to this guy also. He has pistol, you know, like this. Serious business, anyway. And then, what to do now? I don't know. So they put that, so tomorrow morning we are coming, and you get ready. And these devotees were worshipping, worshipping, doing puja. มาหาจิสมหายตัมสตรากลบตาแลกโอรรูปยาวจรณาคายาจวาลามณีมามาวิกรันปชาปชามามาวายัมบินดีบินดีมามาศัตรูนวิตราวายัมบินดีมามาศ
muscles didn't work. Oh, I could not speak mantra. I don't know why. Very surprising experience, you know. I just, I just cannot speak mantra to this lady. I don't know. Anyway, so she didn't force it, but she was surprised. She was just kind of, oh, she wanted to speak, but something happened. Some, something happened. Situation was not suitable, and she couldn't speak Maha Mantra to her. She spoke everything but mantra. And one day, one night actually, she opened the eyes and she found that this, this lady putting her hands on her thread and suffocating her, trying to kill her. Actually, while she was sleeping, she put the hands like this and sitting on the top of her. Because perhaps she got the order to kill this, you know, and then suffocated, then put some report, sorry, they already died in the jail. Who's going to check? Police itself, you know, created all this inside. And nobody going to do investigation because, anyway, so she was just like this and she, and she said, she told me personally, she was surprised. What to do now? Oh, and she remembered, she only losing oxygen, cannot even see properly. And then she remembered Nrisingh Hadev. She said, I remember the sky, black sky was the stars, and just remembered. And I remember Nrisingh Hadev. And I was just simply screaming, Nrisi Maha. Just whatever I had power, just last breath, I was Maha. And then this lady who was trying to suffocate her, kill her, <coughs> something happened. And she was flying a few meters back and hit against the wall, like this. Like that. There were only two in the room. As if somebody threw her like this. And she was shocked. Ah, she was completely in fear. Open, and police immediately opened the door. What happened? This Hare Krishna wants to kill me. And she said, no, no, no. <laughs> I am not trying to kill her. So both of them, they were called to that uh, prison advocate. You know, they have some kind of department, investigation department. So that also lady, she says, what, why? She wanted to preach me. She wanted to make me Hare Krishna. She was teaching her mantras to me. She was telling me always about the God. So, okay, what mantra she was telling you, tell me. And she could not say. And then Purnava says, wow, now I understand. Why Krishna didn't allow me to speak mantra? You see? But somehow or other, they were putting her and they wanted her to sit in jail, not to come out. So they make some nakli arop, arop, you know, accusation. False accusations, they said. That she was selling drugs, and for the drug case, you know, drug dealers, drug dealers, drug case, dealers. So you have to sit for many years more. No! And she was about to come out. Her sentence already was about to finish. And they extended that for more years. Because that was the sentence. For drug dealings, we found that you were part of the gang. You know, you were also there. And she was crying. When that uh, advocate sentence that told her, no, no, your sentence extended because they found that you were guilty in dealing in drugs. So she came out from that room and sit down in the chair and she was crying. And what to do? Helpless woman inside the police, you know, and these people also, whatever they want, they can do for you. And she was just crying. Tears rolling and she was sitting and crying. And then all of a sudden she said, I saw one kind of newspaper cut in, my, in front of my eyes. As if, like, it's shown to me, clearly shown to me. I opened my eyes, and it was Literaturna Gazeta, cultural newspaper in Russia we have. That time, I don't know now, but... Oh, really? Specifically name, page, month, and year. Clearly was seen. Again, she closed the eyes. Again, this kind of newspaper was shown to her. She was surprised. Then she was feeling, let me go to prison library and find out, what is this? And she found it, and usually they're keeping this kind of collection of newspapers, you know, this bunch of newspapers they're keeping. Because people are reading, so they're collecting that. So she found that date, that month, that newspaper, that page, and she cut down that page. And in that page was article. Whatever, something. Uh, it was in South Russia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, something, drug and real, drugs, 
about some criminal article. So she cut that article and she brought to that advocate, prison advocate lady. And she said, I don't know, but I somehow want to give you this article. I really don't know why, but I feel like to share with you this. And when I gave it, she gave this lady, wow, do you know what happened? The same accusation which we got and this article just matching. And the names in that article, those of drug deal, drug smugglers. It's a real case somewhere. But they simply added your name, that's all. And if somebody wants to check whether it's a real case or not, they can check in the high court of Kazakhstan, whatever. It's actual real case name number. They simply added your name, that's all. You may be not where there, you were not there, but they just added there. And who is going to deal and research all these things? Therefore, my dear girl, you are very lucky. You pray to whatever God you are praying, you pray to him because he saved you. Because now I have pakka pramana, that this is false accusation. And they let her go because of this newspaper. Krishna will give intelligence. He'll find out the way how to save his devotee. So we should not worry. We simply should not be selfish. Fish in the cell. We have to be selfless. To serve devotees. That's why the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, we are not grihastas, not brahmacharis, not sannyasis, not brahmanas, not kshatriyas. Who are we? Naham vipro na chanara pati na pi vaishu na shudro Naham varni na chagriha pati na vanasto yatirva Kintu pradhyan kila paramananda purna amrita bher Gopi vartur padaka malayor Dasa 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 anudasa We are simply servants, servants of the servants And to serve everyone we have to have qualities Not out of vanity and ahankar Not for the sake of prestige, position, to be recognized We simply VIPs, very insignificant. Dhuli sadrisham vichintaya. And to become dhul, no? if you want to become atom bomb in the hands of God, first we have to become atom. Then you can become atom bomb. Atom ni ne wafir. That's why if you want so much currency, electricity go through you. You know? You know why gold and platinum so costly, you know? Gold and platinum. Metals, very costly. Why? Huh? Huh? Connectivity. Correct. Gold and platinum used in the plates of electronics and space technology. They're using gold. Why? Because connectivity is very easy. There is no metal resistance too much. Electrons, they're not resisting. It's not getting heated too much. Metal, like you see, tama, this copper. Very high resistance. You put 12 volts. <laughs> Electrons immediately, resistance, it's getting heated very quickly because of resistance. So therefore, copper used for cooking. On small fire, you can cook big amount. If it's copper, copper pot, copper becomes very hot very quickly because of resistance. So similarly, gold, if you can put very high voltage electricity, thunder, cool, not heated. Therefore, there's no sockets, you know, there is no burning wires. There's no need to repair every time. So similarly, pure devotee is like gold. Golden heart. You put it in the most difficult situation. Cool. No freaking out. Therefore, no need to always encourage him and counsel him and tell him and repair him. Okay, again, I have to tell him again. No need. So similarly, Srila Prabhupada, golden hearted devotee, you know. He went, only one order. Preach in English language. <laughs> Finish. But if you want to become gold, you have to be tested. Tijapka Pariksha. Acid test. So we have to become golden like devotees, all of you. And Rupa Goswami, that's why he's writing. I'm writing this, I think, Lalita Madhava. Even Shudra will ignite the fire. Even Shudra, like myself, will ignite the fire. The fire of Krishna Katha will purify the golden hearts of golden heart devotees. Therefore, he said, very nice example. If simple water from the well, you know, simple water, jungle pani. If that simple water, useless water, nobody using that water, even, nobody even drinking sometimes. Simple water. But if that water used to do Abhishek for Saligram Shila, 
that water become Charinamrit. People worshipping that water. So similarly, doesn't matter which family you born, whether even Aho Batos, Papachutogari, Yam Jihogari, Vartadinama to Bim, Tipus Tipas, Yakshusnu, Sasnu, Arya, Brahmanuchu, Brahmanuchur, Grinanti, Yete. Grinanti means such a person already achieved everything. He did all tapasya, yagya, puja, mantra, tantra, shloka, Sanskrit, bas. Chanting holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Iti sodasaka nam nam kalikalma sana sanam. Katam.com. No worries. That's why Srila Prabhupada gave us this wonderful antivirus. Let us chant together, dance together, and chant together and be happy. Hare Krishna. And share this knowledge with others. Hare Krishna. Rantra Chimad Bhagavatam Mahapurana Ki Jai. Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Anantakadevaishnamarinda Ki Jai. Gaurapre Manande. Hare Krishna.